Well, it is open enrollment time, and seniors, you need to make sure you know what's happening with your prescription drug plan. And joining us today to tell us more about it, because they're here to help out from the Allen County Council on Aging Outreach Department with Judy Jackman and Connie Dersham. And thank you both for coming today. Thank Thanks you. for having us. Okay, so it started October 15th, yes. and you only have till December 7th. So what kind of things should you be looking at? Judy, what, what, what can you look at when it comes to this open enrollment time? Okay, anyone who has an Advantage plan or a prescription drug plan, those are two separate kinds of plans, should look at their plan every year. Usually they'll get materials from their plan in the mail that tell if the plan's increasing their prices or their providers or things like that. So everyone should look at that and see if it looks good. But that doesn't mean that that's necessarily the best plan, especially with a prescription drug plan. Sometimes they raise their premium they make their medicines more expensive so it's a good thing to compare because even though their plan might be satisfactory they might be able to find one that saves them more money all right so Connie is that where you guys can help out to look at the plans and see if there's something better out there yes we can look at all the plans that uh, supplemental plans that people have if they're using part A and part B the Advantage plans and the part D prescription plans and oh. help them figure out see the choices what they and see if do. like what you have is fine <laughs> yeah, or get yeah. something different yeah and there's been quite a few already that are looking at uh, supplemental plans because theirs keep going up and up and up and so they're looking to see can they get the same thing for a, le a less price mm -hmm. you know so yeah I've heard that and I don't know if this is true or not that advantage plans a lot of times those aren't good, that there's no advantage to that. I mean, do you find that you can check it out and sometimes Advantage plans work for people? Yes, yeah, sometimes they mm -hmm. do. Sometimes people can't afford to pay for a supplement. And it's better, I think, to have an Advantage plan um, rather than not have another anything to go with your Medicare. And they do cover prescriptions and they have some extra benefits, but the things to, that people should be aware of are they have a network of providers. So you have to make sure that your doctors, hospitals, home health agencies are in the network. And then you may not pay anything for the plan per month, but every time you use it, you have a copay. So those are two things to really watch with the Advantage plans, mm -hmm. but sometimes they work out well for people. It seems like it's a, a thing that would be difficult to navigate on your own. So is it better to like call you guys or is there other people to, to call up to, to help people get through all this mess, so to speak, you know what I mean? I think some people try to do it on their own and they get confused and so they just come to get confirmation. Um, but yeah, usually they like to come in and a lot of them are the same people that come back. Mm -hmm. We've had quite a few new ones this mm -hmm. year though because there's things that are changing with Medicare and a lot of people don't know what those changes are. And so it's just good always to come in and have somebody help you deal with it. Mm -hmm. Right, yeah, dealing with it. It's one of those things you want to put aside, though, and <laughs> wait till the last minute. But you guys in the past, I know you have really saved people a lot of money, haven't you? That's mm -hmm. true. That, mm -hmm. Yeah. If a plan premium goes up like a drug plan, um, people could save a lot of money by changing to another one. Um, it makes a big difference. So sometimes, and even going to a different pharmacy can save people money. So we have to watch that also. Mm -hmm. All right. So there's so many different things to... Mm -hmm. oh, so, so you guys can help out, right? The easiest way, call and make an appointment yes, with you guys. Is that right. how to do it? Mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> and, you know, books get filled up fast, right? Because there's only so many you, of you that there's, there's can help out. <laughs> all, there's four of us all together. Yeah. All yeah. right. Mm -hmm. So call now and get mm -hmm. your that's appointment, right? right? Because mm -hmm. we said th yes. that's a pretty hard deadline, December 7th, I assume. It is. That there's no wiggle room. Yes. Right. <laughs> All right, very right. good. All right, there's the information on the screen. Schedule an appointment, and the Allen County Council on Aging can help you out. It sounds like it's good to have you guys here, so thank you very much for uh, helping out people and telling us about it. Thank, thank you. Thank you for coming. All right, don't go away. We'll take a look at the weather forecast next.